Am I Joanna Cedia yet? You know, I'm curious. All my lip balm. It's all gone. Also, I forgot to turn these string lights on, but just so you know, they're there. Hey, bitches, my name is Forced Social Distancing because that's what you should be doing. If you're not doing that, what the fuck? Get some help. Americans are stupid. Anyways, I see a ladybug outside, which is great because that means spring is coming, but I'm not allowed to enjoy that, apparently. I really hate this. If you kept up with my video since the beginning of this year, and if you're not, <laughs> choices. You know, this video has been in the works for months and i mean three whole months i originally filmed this intro during the beginning of january which <laughs> i look a little bit different clearly but the intro somehow fit magically still like somehow the footage is accurate to what i'd say at this moment it's a bit creepy but i'm gonna take it as i'm omnipotent or like i'm opening my third eye finally and currently what i see in the future is <laughs> I'll just play the intro. I know the world is going to hell. That's all I have to say. So let's paint. I'm going to make a lighthearted video because last week was kind of sad and I don't want any of that energy with me. I am a dedicated user of TikTok. That doesn't mean I'm proud of it. And I noticed the art videos consist of a lot of memes, absolutely incredible drawings, or just entertaining things. And a lot of it is Minecraft. Now I've played Minecraft for so long. This is my original mouse pad. This is the first merch I ever bought from anyone. I've had this for over a decade now. So Minecraft is close to my heart. Now if you played Minecraft, you know that there's a lot of paintings inside the game. And a lot of them are small and they're literally pixels. So it's not that hard to paint. Not that hard to paint. Now, I could have painted one of the easier paintings on this canvas, but I thought that's not satisfying enough for me. So, I went to Michael's. This is a two feet by two feet canvas. And I'm gonna see if I can paint the biggest Minecraft painting in the game. We're gonna look this up. So currently there are 26 paintings inside the game and there are three large paintings. The one that I think everyone knows about is the skull on fire. It's 64 by 64 pixels, which who am I kidding? I'm not majoring in math. 4,096 pixels, which means I'm painting 4,098 squares on this by the end of this video. Before I do anything, I'm just gonna draw 64 lines across here and here and basically create a big ass grid. So I'm just gonna skip. Okay, I was actually thinking about doing this off camera, but this is harder than it looks. First of all, I'm really not good at math. I got a C plus at the end of my senior year. So if this canvas is 24 inches and I need 64 pixels, this is like those math problems you get on your SAT that make no sense. 24 divided by 64, 0.375. So each inch, no, each pixel is 0.375 inches. I'm gonna write that down. Gotta take notes. 16 pixels multiplied by 16. 16 pixels is equal to six inches. I got it. I'm gonna make one line down the middle and then one line down those halves and just keep splitting it until they all look like squares. I'll see you in two hours. Much later. Okay, I think I highly underestimated how big this canvas is. If you can't tell, the sun has officially set. Took me around an hour to do this and then 30 minutes to eat lunch and then a 30 minute nap. I went through three pencils and I don't even have anything painted yet. And I don't know if you can tell, but these aren't perfect squares. I don't think there's a single perfect square on here. They're either rectangles or trapezoids. That is because halfway through, I gave up using a ruler. Oh, and another thing to ruin my day. This isn't 24 inches long. This is 23.7, which completely threw off the math. So thank you for wasting my time, Michaels. I know I'm not gonna buy my canvases from now on. I'm just kidding, they have 50% off sales every day. But if you thought this was a tutorial, it kind of is. It's just a what not to do when you're trying to paint something like this. Oh, and this is what it did to my back. So I looked up the painting again and I could have done it the easy way and just painted the realistic version. But no, I'm deciding to paint every individual pixel because I'm stupid and I have no idea where to begin. So I think I'm just gonna start off with the moon because it's a square. So bear with me while I count how many pixels it's down. Oh shoot, there's a black border around this whole thing and I don't know if it's part of the painting or not. I'll be right back. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, I can confirm the black border is part of the painting. Part of me really wishes I just drew this. You probably can't tell what's going on here, but this is the moon and these are all the flames. I don't even know what my own markings mean, but as long as long as you can figure out where to draw, that's all you need for this. And if I get in front of the painting, don't complain. Because I refuse to paint like this the whole time. Problem is I'm using this as the stand, so I don't even have a place to put my paint now. I don't know if you can see, but it's balancing on top of a drawer right now. So I guess we'll start off with red. Red. Okay, let's begin. Goddamn, this is gonna take two layers. So I'm painting this twice, which means double the time. 
You know, when I was coming home from college, I really thought that I would bring my paintbrushes with me. So I have the most janky paintbrushes you can ever think of. I'm pretty sure it's for oil painting, because listen to this. It doesn't apply anything smoothly at all. My finger can do a better job than this. 4,092 squares to go. The problem is you have to be amazing at painting straight lines because if you make one little mistake like I've already done, it will not look good at the end. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not in a good mood right now. I'm going to keep my positive attitude that I promised I'd do more in 2020. Everything is fine. Everything is kumbaya. I really thought I could do this in one day. Oh my God, this is not happening. Oh no, we have a code orange. That is like neon orange on the bottom of my carpet right now. Good thing I don't let my parents inside this room, but they're watching this. Sorry, mom. I swear this is not sponsored, but Pure C natural stain remover is great for paint. All right, that's all the orange and I'm just gonna wait for it to dry, go over it again, waste another hour of my life watching friends and I'll see you soon. Hello, welcome to day two of working on this stupid project. So I took a break. Uh, for a whole day just to figure out how I'm gonna go about this because I realized I will die before I finish this painting if I just paint every pixel. So like always, I'm gonna try to do the least amount of work and use up the least amount of time because that is how we got through high school. If I wanna make every pixel show up, I'm deciding to just paint a green strip, a dark green strip, and then a blue strip. And from there, I'll change the colors how I want. I'm also gonna be responsible and put a towel over my paint for once because we know what happened last time. So this first part of the clip is just me trying to erase all the excess graphite on the canvas. Let me know if there's ways to get around this like besides having to erase because I wanna know how to be able to see my markings but not have to have them smear all over the painting. Guys, my paintbrush fell again. Two accidents now. So I don't know if you can tell, but the outline of the skull is right here. I'm gonna see if I can just finish all the fire because I'm done using red, yellow, white, and orange. It's just gonna be a lot of layers and taking time because today I actually made these squares look like squares. So yeah, I guess I'll see you when the sun sets again. I realize I should probably use one of these because I bet my P's and B's are really pushing it right now. Penis. Back to my frustration over the lack of opacity that these paints yield. Hmm. Why do I sound like I'm writing an essay right now? I was just trying to get rid of all my extra paint because I have a better ones now. On the original painting, the yellow and white inside of the fire is different colors. Like there's actually 10 different shades of yellow, but each of them are just like one drop of black, one drop of orange. And I had the commitment to change the tones of the orange and red, but uh, I guess I gave up. It would look the same on camera and no one's gonna see it close up, so I don't give a shit. So it is now the end of day two. This is what I've gotten done so far, so every particle of fire that should be on here has been colored. Shading wise, I kind of gave up because I was looking at it and I thought, I'm not mixing 50 different types of yellow. I'm just gonna leave the yellow as it is and if I wanna add like one drop of black into my yellow paint, I will. That is literally how I got each different color. I would dip my paintbrush just barely in black. Day three, we're gonna work on the skull, I think. Nope, that seems too hard too. We're gonna work on the background. There's still a little bit of pencil showing through, but trust me, three layers of yellow is as much as I can handle before my sanity goes to zero. I am tired, I'm sweaty, I've spilled an embarrassing amount of paint on my pants. So this is my attempt at keeping my paint wet. I put my palette over it and then all these things over it too just to keep it weighed down. And if I lift this off, hopefully this paint is still wet. I also sprayed it down with water just to keep it moist because I don't know, this is cheap acrylic paint. The Asian in me wants to save every last ounce. Hi, Hi. welcome to day four of working on this Really awesome painting that I will like in the end. Yeah, I am in the same outfit as yesterday. Don't worry, I did wash my underwear. I just took a shower, that's why my hair is I did my skincare routine and I'm so calm and ready for bed, but instead I had to work on this stupid fucking painting. In the past three videos, I've had lemon water, but this time I have strawberry water. Obviously I didn't record this part, but I did do it during my paint with me video because it was just boring. I was just laying out the base colors and I couldn't even finish it. All I want to get done today 
is finish the blue here and get the base color of the skull down, which is just gray. So before anyone judges what I'm doing right now, I realized after painting the fire that this would all take two coats at least of paint. So I decided the base color should just be similar to what the actual color would be. And because the painting is divided by the sky, dark trees, and then the grass, I was like, hey, just paint base colors for them. And I'd say it definitely helped. It made things easier. But while doing that, I also lost every single marking that I made. So I wasted a lot of time. If anyone has any tips on how to do it better next time, please let me know. I just wanted to paint a Minecraft painting and this is what I get. Just the constant descent into madness and chaos. Like that's it's not good. It kind of broke me and my back. And don't ask me why I shaded the skull part white and part gray. I don't know either. Welcome to day five. Right now, I just want to get this done so I can feel good about myself. Here we go. So I wanted to start off easy and I was like, what is the smallest object on here? The moon. But one problem I ran into instantly was the fact that I don't have a royal blue, so I couldn't make it as accurate. My blue that I was working with was more of a slightly green. And in the painting, the blue had more of a purpley undertone almost. But you don't have to shade match perfectly for pixel paint. Like, no one's gonna look at it and go, hmm, I see you've done two shades lighter of a blue than it was on the original. I'm not gonna buy it now. Like, if you do that, you're just a bitch. But it's hard. I don't know how y'all do it on TikTok. Because I dip, like, two bristles of my paintbrush in black, and I try to mix it with some blue, and it came out gray instantly. Like, I don't know what I did wrong. Like, I didn't mix my colors prior to painting it. I did it spontaneously. Like, I only put blue, white, and black as my base colors. And what I've concluded is black will always be the most pigmented color and white will never make a shade lighter, no matter how much white you put in it. I ran through half my tube for this whole project. Okay, now we get onto the grass. Oh, and if you're not even looking at the video, which you should be because this is a painting video and I put so much effort, so if I'm in the background while you're washing your face, I mean, just keep watching and watch the ads. <laughs> I gotta save up money somehow, and why you're still a bitch with, you know, that lack of aid. I'm not salty. I'm just... Pressed. I did the math and I think this took actually 40 hours to paint, which is kind of sad. You think painting squares would be fast, but no, it took two layers for almost every single shade. And I had to take my time because the paintbrush I used was janky. Like it didn't pick up any paint. Also, can someone make a list of all the videos I watched during the time it took to make this painting? Because if you just look on my iPad, we speed through many. You got Jenna Julian podcast. I watched them Curtis Connor. I watched anime at some point. So for the grass, I was actually following the exact colors on the actual painting and then I realized who the fuck would know the difference. So halfway through I was like, you know what, stop looking at it Frederick, just go for it. Obviously I looked at the painting as a whole to figure out, you know, what shades to use. Because on the right side, it's a little bit lighter of a green. But before that, I would have to zoom in on the painting and it wasn't good quality. I broke my eyes doing this, okay? <laughs> Somehow it still had a bad resolution, even though it's squares. But I would slowly move the screen across, trying to keep track of every single color I've used. I would lose track of time, and I would also have to recount because, you know, I don't have a good memory. So I wouldn't recommend staring at the painting. Print it out. Print it out, please. So you can actually like mark which ones you've done, you know, that because that's a smart thing to do. Okay, I get it, I'm not smart. You don't have to sound off in the comments. But what I was gonna say was I painted from top to bottom and just did it by columns. And I don't know which way was better. Like on TikTok, you guys go around the border, which is cool, but I don't have the patience to mix 80 different colors. Because on my palette, I only had five colors. I had white, three shades of green, and then black. And I managed to make all these different shades because every time I mix a new color, I would add some random color in there just to make it different. Once the grass was done, I went on to do the trees in the background. And the trees were kind of weird because there wasn't really like a definition between the lighter green trees and the darker green trees. It kind of just blended together. So I decided let's not reference it. Let's just make it look like it's all one big you know, orgy of colors. And even though I split up the trees into two parts, I still managed. And this is me bragging because I'm proud of this. I managed to make it look cohesive because I am such a good painter. Oh, and side note, color correcting this shit was dumb. So don't remind me that in some clips I look red and other clips I look yellow and green. I painted this throughout so many different times of the day and it I changed seasons halfway through. <laughs> painted this during morning, afternoon, night, cloudy, thunderstorm, okay? So there's different lights we're dealing with. Oh, this, this is a mess. Okay, don't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here with the moon. I think I started to lose motivation because when I looked at it, I was like, hmm, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know why I didn't go top to bottom. I think it was because the way the moon was supposed to make the area around it look brighter 
look too difficult to replicate. So I thought painting the whole area light blue would make it easier for me because I would just be painting around the moon. I mean, it looks good now, but it was torture doing it because I was so slow. I don't have anything to say for this clip except for the fact that this went from afternoon to night. You see golden hour go away during this whole clip. Like it's pretty to look at, but I also spent five hours sitting in that goddamn chair. My ass is flat. I had to do so much work to get it back to where it is now, you guys. And the lighting is so bad here because you can see the acrylic paint shine and then you can't really tell which color it is. But I basically gave up because I realized, hmm, this is the background. I still have a whole skull to paint and I'm already over this because I've been doing it for two months at this point. So my intelligent mind came up with the idea that maybe I should just blend all these colors together in the background. It's not the main subject of the painting. Realistically, it should be blurry so all the colors should be meshed together. So I started painting the colors in chunks and like really big chunks. Before this, I was painting each square individually and then I would move on to the next one, a minute for each square. But I cut down at least two hours just by painting like 10 squares one color. And I made random shapes for the chunks just so it didn't look like I did on purpose. And to be honest, I can't tell that big of a difference looking at it from here. So I'm not complaining. I saved my back from breaking that night. I was also running out of blue paint and I did not have the energy to go back to Target and buy more. Now we get to the big finale, the fucking skull painting that took me <laughs> one month to do. <laughs> Can someone help me learn how to mix colors? On the painting, it's mainly different shades of white and it's like an undertone of yellow, an undertone of blue, green, orange. But I literally put one drop of orange into a bucket of white paint and it would still turn out as bright as it did on this skull. Same thing with the blue. I just really need these to be diluted more. White paint should have more pigment and I know that's probably not going to happen anytime soon because it's supposed to be lack of pigment, but this skull is borderline rainbow because of how colorful it is. It's gay now, okay? He likes boys and he's dead. I'm not mad at it when I looked at the final product, but it's just it was still annoying doing it because I spent five minutes mixing a color and I could never get pure white. It was always like a darker gray. You know, he has a little more melanin to him. <laughs> Overall though, it looks fine. It, you just have to like convince yourself that it'll work out in the end. Delusion, <laughs> convince yourself. Like I was convinced this skull would not have a nose because I thought it looked so weird painting it. And jump cut to when I finally returned back from NYU and had time to paint this. This could have went into the summertime. I hope you know that. This time I brought new brushes thanks to UPenn and could hold pigment. But you know, the thing is, I got so accustomed to the paintbrushes I was already using that I could not paint a single square. They were more ellipses. <laughs> I used a flat brush and it worked great. I mean, honestly, so smooth. And looking at it right now, yeah, I did paint everything blue and I had a feeling this side would look a little bit different from the other side because you know it's been like a one month difference the way my eyes look at this painting is probably gonna be different but it is considered shadow so it looks fine it was really easy to finish this last portion because I realized that looking at my iPad they painted some colors in chunks so I was like okay if you're gonna do it I will and now we get to the grand finale I almost forgot that I completely left the border blank because it has to be black so I took painters tape yes it's yellow what else do you expect for me. I lined each border and then painted it with that same brush that I used. And I bet you're wondering, Frederick, why didn't you use a sponge brush? I did. I tried it. It soaked up all my black paint and I had to use two layers, whereas the paintbrush took only one layer. So don't test me, children. Once I finished the border, I looked back at the painting and I debated redoing the sky because I was like, yeah, it's kind of noticeable that I did it in chunks now. But one way to easily skip that is to be lazy and paint stars over it. Because what I learned in graphic design class is that if you put a pattern over a background, it makes the background less apparent. And it fucking worked. I also don't mind the white stars. I think it's a nice touch. It's like my own own taste you know it makes it different i'm not directly plagiarizing <laughs> i know okay i know it's not an original painting but did you think i really was gonna make an original minecraft pixel painting ever well actually no well <laughs> should i eh. if this video gets over a million views we'll think about it so i present to you the finished Minecraft painting. Here's what it looks like. I put over three layers of spray over it because this is not allowed to look worse over time. This has to look the same because I don't plan on redoing this ever again. I don't know where to put it. It's taking up so much space in this room. Don't ask to buy it from me unless you're going to pay like my whole tuition. <gasps> I left the string lights off the whole time. You guys. Do I redo my whole voiceover again? just so you can have the string, no. 
no. Let me know what else you want me to do. I have so many more canvases to paint and I have all the time to my world because, oh my God, I'm getting dizzy because I'm not allowed to leave this house or hang out with friends. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more videos every Saturday and maybe Wednesday because I might be posting more, which means you better hit that notification, better smack it. All right, I love you guys and everything is less than three. Now I need to test something for you guys. Oh my God, what if I did another ASMR video?